I know you're here to watch this pop and believe me, it's going to be a good one. But first I wanna to talk to you about your skin. When you're dealing with skin issues like acne, keratosis pilaris, dry skin, or dark spots, it can be really frustrating to know where to start. This is why I founded SLMD Skincare to create effective products that really can treat the most common skin conditions that people experience. Sometimes you need to be treated and seen in the office by a board certified dermatologist like you're about to see, but sometimes you can really treat your conditions with products that are over the counter, like products that we have at slmdskincare.com. Use the code DPPYouTube to get 10% off your first order. skin on your nose like very dilated follicles see how that just kind of all this stuff is just right under the surface ready to come out mm. you should have seen it all squeeze right out of that the last time we came that's when you found it oh i see i'm just gonna push against you okay all right, right. okay there you go. So, kind of have to squeeze them a little bit, try to get all of that out. It's behaving though. And the reason they're so dark is because they're oxidized. They've hit oxygen, and so they're more, oh, they're just a darker color. It has nothing to do, like the ones that are kind of trapped under there and don't get air exposed to them, those are the ones that we call whiteheads. Maybe a little pressure, but not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, huh? Still oh, okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. good. Because we're still enjoying ourselves if you're okay. Yeah. That was a good one there. Fully functioning on your own. You're taking care of her and you've got keeping all your appointments. And Does she have a lot of other appointments? Does she see a lot of other doctors regularly? Well, Is it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Right across the cell. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to Connecticut. We're going to... Um, we're going in a couple weeks to Connecticut. Who's this? Okay, I'm gonna push this one here. Yeah, I gotta think all of a sudden. Look at that one. He's all healed. <laughs> this, remember old school plugs, like those black plugs yeah, you yeah. have in the faucet? Oh, look at that. You don't get a pillow pressure right here. All right, we got a lot of the bumps on your face. You're gonna be hot property over there. <laughs> when I can get this one here. Go a couple up here and then just along the left eye and then we'll have plenty more to work on next time, but we're gonna lose a couple pounds here I think today. Oh. I didn't even have to nick these, they come out easily. So when you went into the hospital for your surgery there, a stent, you said, you didn't even have any symptoms? I mean, how did you end up there in the first place then? Well, they just took an ultrasound of my lungs. And they... I see, and that's where it came from? And then they detected the. Mm. Well, I had an AO to take it out. Trooper. Sometimes you have to tease them out a little bit in the beginning. Did you rinse your nose? Even though it looks like I'm gonna abuse you more here, I actually think it's gonna do more, more good this mm -hmm. time because um, I'm really kind of being a little bit more aggressive trying to get some of these mm -hmm. deeper seated ones under there. So that's actually a good thing. Oh, we got some good ones there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, 
out nice and easy. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of pull them off. So I'm just answering sometimes some people's questions. Yeah, there, it should be a machine as well. The skin on your nose, like very dilated follicles. See how that just kind of all this stuff is just right under the surface, ready to come out. Mm -hmm. You should have seen it all squeeze right out of that one little hole on her forehead. So we had to do some fancy things to close it up because it was pretty big. But this looks better already. Right. You guys are pretty much on your own, huh? You, you take care of your wife pretty much on your own. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that one and that dark one right there's over one lone dark one sitting here. Not coming out without a fight. These other ones around it are coming out. Kind of pull it out without using a a tweezer or forcep. Oh, I think I can get it with this though. Also lighting on there, okay? Not too many shadows. Look at that one. I gotta show this to you. You were storing something in here. <laughs> you could smuggle diamonds or something across yeah. the border. There we go. There's most of it. There's a little bit of skin right here. Let me just see if I can pull that. Good, nice and flat, and then we'll heal just one. He just sits that lip in the, oh my gosh. That's torture for you? <laughs> it it startles me. Me too. But, uh, um, the nose is very sensitive too, as you can tell. The nose is probably the second most sensitive. Just from my experience of numbing people up and having to do things on them, the nose and the lips. I know, I have these little blood vessels around my nose, like the nostril area, and I, I like, I try to, I don't do them, I don't treat them as often as I probably should, because I don't like to, the pain myself. But I, I can't, it's hard to believe when you do the bows, I don't feel anything, you know, after it's over, after the nose, it doesn't feel hurt later, right? No, I... Uh, you mean, I see yeah. when I do surgery and stuff, yeah. I know. Well, that's good. That's what's so amazing about numbing, I guess, right? Thank goodness for it. I remember the big ones you had here on your nostril. They're gone. Two weeks, and we'll take a pa after picture of how good it looks afterwards. Him out. You couldn't get him out and you were trying, huh? So you were a firefighter and I do think that being out there in all the soot and the smoke and being out there in the sun all the time definitely can Took 40% of my lung capacity. It did. Wow, these and these these are one to come out. See, you just need one of these special instruments here. They're, it's com they're coming out. You okay? Yeah. What did you tell me to? You said the cutest thing. So I kind of asked you whether you wouldn't mind me doing this today for you. And you, you just, you were very, you were all ready to go. You said, just do it. I'll stand on my head. You said, if I need to. You okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. That must be a million dollars. Mm, yeah, you know, if you had a dollar for each of these, you'd be doing all right. That's for sure. So you came out here and you did you just fall in love with the weather? No. What happened? <laughs> what a feeling I just was went to work. You just went to work and you just decided this is where I'm going to be. I just kept working on time passes by. Really? You're one of those kind of people, just a hard worker, huh? When did you retire? 90. What have you been doing with yourself since then? Well, I've had businesses and work and different jobs. So you stay busy no matter what. Do you miss being a fireman? No. No? That was quick. Why? It's hard it's job. heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking? Now in like, in Indiana, do you, as a fireman, how much of it is actually fighting a fire? A lot of it. I, I put some of them in there. So we could take some of these out.
to push against you, okay? Just because it's hard to get into this, but you're not, you're not one to complain, so. Until you tell me, uncle, I'm going to. right here. There's a couple more right here. Okay, okay you've had enough of me. We're done. I'm pushing on you. Sorry, I'm on the nose there. It's a little bit eek tough, but that was a good one. Got rid of that one. Oh right, gosh, I, no, I got, with our lips? Go with the... Uh, yeah. The, what is what is uh, brush it uh, polish it of teeth with oh, it. Yes. So, explain to you what all this is from, right? You have a little rhinophyma, you know, a little thickening of the skin here and overproduction of oil glands just from you having rosacea. Uh -huh. And you know, it's nothing life threatening or anything. Nice. to have not so long at the corner of your nose right here. I think there's still a lot on the side of your nose and when I trim it down we're gonna see some of this oil really kind of coming out of there. right next to it. <laughs> it's still there. There we go. Good one. I'll do this I can. Oh look, see? I lied.
some kind of art. Keeps going. My goodness. See, that's when you know, you never know. It's surprising. See, that's when you know, you never know, it's surprising. Okay. Mm -hmm. Push on you again, pressure. <laughs> What's those things on your head? I'm like, oh, I know, I don't know what they are. And you know, they're gonna be so jealous now, you're gonna be prettier than them. But I scrub, you know, like, it's I've, not, I, it's under the I tried scrub scrubbing somewhere. at work, you know, we have to and use these special instruments like we have here that we. Squeeze them out. We'll show you the video afterwards. You'll be pretty. I think it'll be pretty cool. That'll be pretty cool for you to see it. I'm gonna try to get the black ones because I think those are the ones that you'll see the most. But up here now, pressure on there. See how they're all and like mainly in the creases of his forehead. Because I'll see your forehead lines, your forehead lines aren't going to look so deep anymore. They're going to be all clean. All right. Nice and pretty that is now. I just kind of run them, even if I can't see anything, if I run them along your forehead line, I think I'll just, some of them will pop up. There we go. Some of them are a little tough. I'm gonna come back with them with a little bit of a, a nick on the in the skin to get them exposed a little bit. I'm trying to hit this one. Let's see if you can come out now. There we go. That was a good one. Your esthetician, she's the one that got that one out. Had you ever had a facial before? Oh, they're like ready. You okay, huh? Yep. Oh, these are just waiting. They're Wonderful. Mm -hmm. They're good ones. You probably every now and then kind of squeeze your nose and out pops a bunch of them, huh? Yeah, I do every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. You don't let your wife do it? She's not interested? No. Is she well or what? Is it hard for her to get around, kind of? Or is she no, okay? It's, it's uh, too good of an opportunity. Oh, answer. Good answer. You okay, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Get out a bunch of these and that's going to make them nice and clean here. We're going to try to take it easy and just slowly 
increase the pressure on you. And then try to get some of these out. You're doing great. Halfway through with your forehead. A little white one there too. This is gonna help to start you on a cleaner slate, I think, with your acne. You're probably on some antibiotics maybe and Once we get these, hopefully you won't get any more. So a little pressure right here on your nose. You know what? We got God. look, look. <laughs> yeah, I'm not making it easier. For, why do you have to have them in the crease of your nose where it's going to be the hardest to pinch on you? Seriously, that is right. The most like uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. A little break for a second. Let me just push on a couple of these. Good one. Decent one. Another decent one. They're coming out? Yep, they're coming out, so it's worth it. So I want to do it once, okay? Okay. Definitely not okay. as tough as last time. Yeah, last time I didn't really get anything. You got a few, but nothing big. Nothing big. But these, can you feel, did you feel that one pop? Barely. I, I, I actually don't really feel them pop. That one I thought you could maybe feel pop, because I felt it like released. Some of them are just dried up and stuck on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me try this one in the crease here that wants to ooze on me. Maybe I can. There we go. Look at that. It's coming. Okay, I'm sorry. It's all good. It's okay. No, I have to apologize. Don't worry about me. Just don't mind me. I have to say that because I hate, I hate torturing people. Ooh, Nelly. It's right there, I know. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. No, 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 no. Oh, you can do it. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. you're such a good kid. It's okay. It's okay. Just it. for all of our viewing pleasure. Look at that. What kind of you like crying for me? Oh, there we go. That was a good one. That one came out. Oh, that's a good one too. Okay, pressure. Sorry, pushing. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Oh. Yeah, wet, a wet one. Okay, there's two right here in your crease here. Let me see if I can push against it. There we go. There's that one. Yeah, they're coming out. Are you going to be so happy with them? You're going to be happy or mom's going to be happy? Both of them. Yeah, okay, okay gonna good. Because they are driving him crazy. It's yeah. just sometimes it's hard to take them. Okay, oh, wait, I, hold on. I, I, two, these two right here. I'll try that one, pushing against you. There we go. And this one. I like to end on a good one. Give me a good one. Oh, yeah. If I give. 
Yeah, no, that one didn't. There's another one that wanted to come up the side. There we go. Oh my goodness, a good one. Okay, right there. Not a long one, but a little plug. A little pressure right here. Come on, I do a little wiggle wiggle. Yours are still stubborn. They're coming, but they're still stubborn. Maybe it's good your mom's here because she's watching and she's letting us, pushing us to do more. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, um, I feel like I'm a crab, like I come at it in a different angle, you know? Like I talk, you know, when you want to get a question out of your kid and he doesn't answer you, so you come at it a different way? That's what I feel like I'm doing with these. See, listen to him. He's getting. Do you see how he's getting all ornery? Can you see in his voice how he's getting like testy with us? But someone might recognize. Him. Okay, you did all right. Mm. I'm proud of you. How'd you do? I did all right. It was okay. It was an okay one. It was decent. He's got a, a large pore here that got some stuck in there. Bring that one out. Maybe a little pressure on this one. Gosh, you got hidden ones under there. Look at the cr crook of your nose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he'll, he'll say anything, won't you? Ow. I'm sorry. Ow. They're waiting to pop up, though. Didn't I had to you sneak. numb me, I'm though? Like ninja here. <laughs> yeah, but you don't like to be numbed. I don't feel numbed. Oh, well, I know, but. <laughs> you, like, train your mind to be like that, right? <laughs> like Pat Nixon. Try, try to train your mind was, to say that, that this is all. When it was really hot, that... she imagined it was really cold. And when it was is that what really... she did? Yeah. Uh huh. That's pretty smart, don't you think? No. <laughs> you are, you have a sinister laugh. I much prefer reality. Okay, we got that one. Okay, stop the sign. No. You do your thing and I'll do mine. Okay, so I apologize if I'm... It's all right, get nicer. Okay. I didn't wash it though, so I apologize for that. All right, what else we got? Nothing? Mm. Pinch. I can trick you into the pinch, you see? Oh, mm -hmm. maybe that's why, though, because I didn't get Aha, got it. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> to give you one of these colonone extractors. Look at what? what I could do just by pushing against your skin. Oh, I think that's what they did to me when I was... When you were a teenager? Yeah, you remember this, huh? Yeah. It really messed you up. They pit, and that's why you were ruined. All us dermatologists are ruined by that person that did that to you. You're still, gorgeous. You're still you look gorgeous. I think this is a white head, not quite a. Let's relax here. I'm going to put a little pinch on your skin right here. You shouldn't feel that though. I can see why this would bother you. It's very light colored, you know? So it's noticeable in that sense. We're just going to express the contents, and that one is gone. Your sister's been squeezing this, you said? Yes. And she's going to be happy you got rid of it? Or she's not <laughs> she's gonna going to be sad that you... She's so happy. Oh, she's... <laughs> see, do you see I squeezed a little and it came out of the center of it? So once you remove those things and everything will come back? Well, it depends. I'm going to take a look at this one. It might... I, I Sometimes I don't know until I remove it, you know, that it, whether it's going to come back or not. I can... Because a lot of times there's a little sack under it, you know, that... If you don't take out the whole sack, you shouldn't feel this, okay? Nothing sharp. Make sure I'm not hurting you, okay? But sometimes they're surprising. Sometimes you realize there's more. Did you want to see? Come over on this other side here. So I put a little nick in the skin. Oh, we're going to get two videotapes. That's good. You ready? He wants to videotape it too. So I'm going to squeeze it and see. See how this... Her... Um, um, contents kind of the contents kind of come up. You do have it pretty much under there here. Hey, it's a lot of stuff under there. Mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah. So that tells me though that yeah, unfortunately, when I see that, I'm thinking there is a bigger chance that it might come back. So I'll try to see if I can't get that whole sack out of there. Gosh, are you sure she didn't have fun doing this? <laughs> Some people would, some people like that. I so I'm, she got tired. She got tired of it. It's hard to do it. It's very hard to push on so hard on there. So I put numbing there. So obviously you can't feel me using my, um, using my tool there and pushing on you here. So I have to make sure we get all of it or else it can come back. So let's see, pushing a little more. You okay, huh? Yes. Okay, good.
more is coming. 